Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yantan with Evening News. The headlines. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates Kisan Saman Sammelan and releases 16,000 crore rupees to farmers under PM Kisan Saman Niti. State to hold the 23rd edition of Hornbill Festival 2022 from December 1. Sender approves advance release of 17.20 crore rupees to Nagalin as second instalment of central share of force state disaster response fund. An election results for new Congress president to be declared on October 19. Now the news in detail. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today released a 12th instalment amount of 16,000 crore rupees to farmers under the Pratan Mantri Kisan Saman Niti through direct benefit transfer. Inaugurating the PM Kisan Saman Sam Melan 2022 in New Delhi today, Modi said PM Kisan is a transformational initiative for the farmers. He said agri startups in the country are working to help farmers increase harvest, improve soil health, and are creating easy to use technology to improve agriculture outcome. Modi said the need of the hour is to adopt technology based modern farming techniques. Startups and innovative youths are the future of Indian agriculture and the rural economy of India. He said over 22 crore soil health cards have been given so that farmers have ready information about their land and harvest. Prime Minister Modi stressed on the need to reduce the dependence on foreign imports and that is the reason the impetus has been given to the biofuel ethanol. Advisor Tourism, Art and Culture, H. Kehovi, said the state will hold the 23rd edition of Hornbill Festival 2022 from December 1. He said this today during a coordination meeting with the tribal hohos and organizations to deliberate on the upcoming Hornbill Festival held at the Directorate of Tourism. Kehovi said this year Hornbill Festival will be the last celebration before the state general election next year. To this, the advisor said he wants the celebration to be organised in an impressive and grand manner, unlike the previous years. He therefore urged all the tribal leaders to extend their cooperation so that the festival is celebrated in the grandest manner, stating that the Hornbill Festival is the only festival where all Naga tribes come together and celebrate as one festival. Kehovi said, today the festival is well known to everyone across the globe and recognised as an international festival. Terming that a Hornbill festival is not a political matter, Kehovi said, the festival is our festival and it does not belong to a particular department or tribe. The advisor asked all the tribal organisations to take ownership of the festival and help one another for progress and development. Kehovi also said it will be meeting the leaders of Eastern Nagaland People's Organization, ENPO, and discuss on the organization's non-participation from the festival and exuded hope that goodwill would prevail and they will join in the celebration. He also requested the tribal organizations to start their preparations for the ensuing festival. He also informed that the department has a loaded site to decay tribe for construction of their morrow. Officials from the Tourism Department also said that the Ministry of External Affairs has informed that all the South Asian countries will be participating in this year's festival. While the official also urged the tribal organisations to come out with unique ideas such as curative food menu with a story behind, display of special handicrafts, tourist guide attached to the respective morongs and others. Meanwhile, the representative of the tribal halls also shared their opinions on issues related to the management of the festival. The Ministry of Home Affairs has approved 17.20 crore rupees as second instalment of the central share of the State Disaster Response Fund, STRF, to be released in advance to Nagalin for 2022-23. The share is for undertaking relief measures in the wake of floods and landslides during the monsoon season of 2022. During the current financial year, the central government released 8,764 crore rupees as first instalment to 24 states, including Nagaland. Further, in view of the severe floods and landslides in various states, 
827.60 crore rupees as the second installment of the central share was released in advance to three other states. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Gohima. You can also listen to this news bulletin on News on Air app and YouTube channel AI News Kohima. Leaders and members of the Congress party today voted for the election of a new Congress president. Party Interim President Sonia Gandhi, General Secretary Priyanka Vatra, Senior Congress Leaders Rahul Gandhi, P. H. Dampuram, Jairam Ramesh and others cast their votes. Party leaders Malik Arjun Kharke and Shashi Tharoor are in the fray for the top party post. The counting of votes will be done on the 19th of this month and the results will be declared the same day. Additional Director, Department of Information and Public Relations, Kohima. Tsuvinio Tenyo today opined that the department has come a long way in trying to keep up with the changing technology and with the fast-paced requirements of the 21st century and that the role of the department has become multifaceted and proactive. She said this during the inaugural program of the five-day training on smartphone filmmaking with Film and Television Institute of India, FTII, which got underway in Kohima. She said that back in the days where the darkroom assistant and cinema operators, which are now redesignated to more appropriate designations, and these changes, Teno pointed out, testifies to the prevailing technologies. She also expressed gratitude to FTII team for providing technical expertise and training young upcoming professionals of the state. Course Director Professor Achmal Jami said that FTII was there to engage with the trainees as everyone carries a smartphone in their pockets. He expressed enthusiasm to engage with the trainees and walk the path of filmmaking together. Registrar FTII Said Rabi Hashmi said filmmaking in spite of tools one is using, creativity is most important. The registrar stated that FTII is for those people who want to tell their story and are enthusiastic to want to make movies. Woka ESEI Yenti Nungpao today said that the government has targeted to provide safe and functional tap water connections by 2024. In this regard, he urged all stakeholders and village functionaries to extend support to the implementing agencies for completion of the project which will benefit people to a great extent. The ESC was addressing the four-day training on community-level participants on the Jal Jivan Mission project for the village council chairman, VDP secretaries and Watson members. He also asked the identities to understand the value of the project and take ownership to make the project a sustainable one. PHEDSE Quatilo Depp apprised that as per October this year, the state has achieved 52% of the JJM project. He congratulated Walker District for achieving 71% functional household tap water con- connection within the district. Depp added that it is a head of state percentage. The training is being organized by Department of PHET, Walker Division, Water and Sanitation Support Organization and is being imparted by Salt Lake Institute of Engineering and Management Limited, Kolkata. All India Radio Kohima will conduct written examination for casual assignees, announcers and compeers on 22nd October at Mount Sinai Higher Secondary School, Kohima. The exam for all 14 dialects, Hindi compeers, Nagamese announcers and Western Music RJs will be held from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. The exam for morning echo compares farm and home, women and children, health and family, sports and science program compares will be conducted from 1 p.m. onwards. Admit cards will be issued at a venue. And now 20 news, here are the main points again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurates Kisan Saman Sam Milan and releases 16,000 crore rupees to farmers under PM Kisan Saman Niti. State to hold the 23rd edition of Hornbill Festival 2022 from December 1. Sender approves advance release of 17.20 crore rupees to Nagaland as second instalment of Central Share of State Disaster Response Fund. In election results of the new Congress President to be declared on October 19th. 
That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. <laughs>